I am trying to distance myself from the killings at General Hospital. Well, there's no way I'm going on a talk show. Well, you don't need my help to boost book sales. The murders at GH are doing that just fine. Doc? Doc, can you help me here? Oh, Why do you have all this? I thought all the posters were plastered all over town already. Oh, well, um, you know, me. I can never have enough publicity. You sound like my publisher. You know she wants me to do a tabloid talk show? I hope you're not actually considering it. Doc, you're way too classy for something that tacky. Don't we still have a few things to talk about? Don't be mad at me. But I had a conversation with Eve, and she says if you're willing, she's willing to call a truce. A truce? You went and talked to her about a truce with... Doug, I went to see Eve myself, and I tried to get her to pay me back for the dresses she ruined. And you know what she did? She tried to convince me that you and she had an affair. Can you actually believe that? You know what she told me? The birthmark on the character in your book that sort of is like Eve... She told me that she has a birthmark in the same place on her thigh. Real life. What do you think of that? I think if she wanted to get your goat, it worked. No, she did not get my anything. I know that you would never be interested in something like that. Eve's my friend. Right. Nothing more. Nothing less. May I help you? Why, that's so nice of you. But it's not necessary. I've got this. What is this? It's a search warrant. Would you please step aside? Thank you. So, good old Sheriff of Mayberry looking for more clues. Well, you won't find any here. Oh, no? That's too bad. I'm looking for a gold bracelet with a pizza charm on it. Sound familiar? Well, I own a lot of jewelry. Really? Are you in the habit of leaving it next to dead bodies? I understand this particular bracelet was found next to Bennett Devlin's corpse. What are you doing with my research notes, Jake? Excuse me? That sounded singular, Karen. It should be our research notes. Our research is going in different directions. These are my own observations. These notes are going to obliterate everything that we're trying to do, Karen. And failed to do, Jake. Wait, are you, are you planning to go public with this? Yes, I am. I'm working on a paper for this. No, no one is going to touch our DL-56 research with a 10-foot pole if this gets published. That's the point. Devlin already published the initial findings, okay? I mean, you can't squelch this work, Karen. Devlin flat out lied in his findings. We have an obligation to the medical community to report the facts as we know them. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Why, why are you so determined to sink this project? Someone is going to replicate our results, right? And what are they going to find? They're going to find that DL-56 causes homicidal aggression in its test subjects. We can't cover that up. And we shouldn't even want to, Jake. Karen, this medication has the potential to help thousands of people. It accelerates nerve regeneration. But it alters brain chemistry. So it needs more work, okay? What you're trying to do, it's going to destroy any hope we have of continuing that work. Obtaining funding is paramount. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is about money? I can't do this in my spare time, Karen. Yes, I need money. If you work at General Hospital as interns, your first posting will be on the sixth floor. This is the nurse's station, the sixth floor hub. You want funding hub. for a drug that turns animals into mindless killing machines. You're being, I got a problem with that. You're being overly dramatic I'm, and unprofessional. I'm being realistic, Jake. I gotta go. I gotta finish my scalp work. Um, <laughs> if you'll follow me. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what. Let's take a uh, ten-minute break, and we'll meet back in the doctor's lounge, okay?
a little hubbub. Someone's idea of a sick joke. <laughs> oh, my God. Matt and Burgess? Did you know? No, I didn't. Somebody posted these on the bulletin board. Well, who would post something like that? I have a better question. What kind of sick twist would take a picture like this? Who knows? Maybe they had a self-timing camera and they did it themselves. Wow. Is this all the jewelry you own? I'm a starving intern, not Ivana Trump. I want every piece of jewelry in your possession. That includes what you're wearing. Fine. But you're ruining my look. I accessorize very carefully. Yeah. Here's a list of everything I'm taking. I want everything back. Oh, you'll get it all back. So far, I don't see anything that matches the description of the bracelet found next to Devlin's body. But don't get too overconfident. Traces of blood have a funny way of showing up where you least expect them. How nice for you. But you will not find any of Devlin's blood on my jewelry. Have you ever owned a bracelet with a pizza charm on it? Yes, I have. But I lost it a long time ago. You'll be the first one I call if it shows up, all right? And in the meantime, I would like all of my jewelry cleaned and polished before you give it back to me. Yeah. You know, Eve, withholding evidence in a murder investigation is a criminal offense. Yeah, well, so is making false accusations. So tell whoever gave you that bogus tip that I said so. By the way, who was it? Earlier you told me you lost it a long time ago. What does it matter who told me about it? I am sorry I even listened to her at all. Let's just blame it on the green-eyed monster. The green... I'm not jealous of Eve. Come on, I would never ever be jealous of her, not in this lifetime, and certainly not in any other lifetime I'm planning on having. Look, I know you. You're a man of taste and other things. You'd never be interested all right, in All right, let's like just her. stop talking at all about the possibility or the feasibility or the likelihood of any infidelity. The birthmark on the thigh of the character in my book is fiction. Okay? Okay, listen, I need to borrow your car because I don't think all my nurse's ball stuff is going to fit in mine. Whoa, small, whoa, whoa, so. whoa, whoa. You changed the subject so quickly. Are, are we done here? Yes, we're done. Eve lied. You don't lie. So I'm satisfied. Good. Good. Okay. Do you have your keys on you? Uh, no. Uh, good question. I don't where know you, where, where, where are, are they? Are. Um. Oh, hey, you know what? Anyway, we're not going to have to worry about Eve for very much longer. I am sure by the end of the day... She will be behind bars. Would you elaborate on that, please? Well, I, I, I finally followed my conscience. I finally did something I should have done a very, very long time ago. What did you do? I went down and I talked to Garcia. And I told him that Eve Lambert's bracelet was found by Devlin's body. Are you out of your mind? No, Doc. I actually got the idea from you. Remember when we found the clown suit and you said, people are being killed here, we really need to tell the police everything we know? Well, that's what I did. Well, did you at least tell Garcia that Scott was the one who found the bracelet in the first place? Uh, no. Um, I didn't because I really don't believe that's relevant information. Lucy, if your purpose is to help the investigation by telling Garcia about Eve's bracelet, then it only makes sense that you would tell him that Scott covered up evidence. This is all about Eve again, isn't it? You just want to get even with her. No, this is about catching the right person. Now they will find the blood on the bracelet. They'll arrest Eve. She'll have no choice but to confess. And then, yes, this whole darn thing will be over. Now I see why you're so calm about the murders all of a sudden. You believe that the killer's about to be locked up. She is. Lucy, there is no evidence. Eve killed anybody. It was Julie Devlin's fingerprints found on the pen that was buried into her father's heart. It was Chris Ramsey's stethoscope wrapped around Grace's neck. And for the 40 millionth time, it was Eve's bracelet found by Devlin's dead body. You know, I don't know why I should care, but you'll be lucky if Scott ever talks to you again. I'm taking your car. Wait a minute. Where are you going? I didn't ask Eve to call a truce just so you could ambush her. 